What's up? It's your boy Frankie Hard Work with another story. Yeah, man. So, this story about your boy 6 9 So, we all know 6 9 have going through whatever he's been going through. And uh, a lot of people been getting locked up. A lot of people copped out. Um, not too long ago, a couple of days ago, somebody got sentenced to 62 months in jail. So, you know, they going to the feds. That's fair time. Um, there's been a lot of crazy stuff going on. But back in 2018, I'm going back because, you know, 2018, 6 9 got kidnapped. And he got robbed and things of that nature, but he always kept quiet. He never said nothing. So fast forward, you got the guy, uh, Harv. Harv and somebody else, I don't know the per other person's name. They didn't cop out yet. They didn't cop out yet, and everybody was wondering why they didn't cop out yet. And they, you know, cause, cause it was, it was, it was strange because it was seem like he wanted six nine to testify against him and go go on the stand, right? And he was pretty much calling his bluff. That's what it kind of seemed like, right? But for the most part, maybe that's what he really wanted to do. And the reason why I'm saying is because Harv told his lawyer that it never happened. The robbery was fake. They said that. They said the robbery was fake. They pretty much were saying that <clears throat> that um back in 2018, quote, no robbery or kidnapping assault happened. Deverick's Cannon told um reporters outside the courtroom according to Complex. It didn't happen. He had an event that made it look like a robbery or kidnapping. End quote. New court documents that that the incident was caught on surveillance footage, what Kanick believes will ultimately work out in their favor during the during the trial. Quote, they're saying the car where the kidnapping allegedly occurred was wired by the government. Wow. And I know y'all remember not too long ago, remember the feds was coming to his 6ix9ine house and stuff like that, so they had a car sitting around there that was wired. And they saying that the, the robbery, alleged robbery happened right there. And he said, well, we believe that it's going to be very helpful to the, to the defense. It also says, Kanek claims that the whole incident was essentially staged in order to promote 6 ix 9 album, which isn't unrealistic. After documents revealed that 6 ix 9 put money into Ellison, put money on Ellison's head, Kanek also said that it was just for a show. He has the resources and apparently he had excess access to individuals who would carry it out, he said. You have had to wonder whether or not was it real. Wow. So that's the defense that they're taking. And I wonder if it's true. Because when when, when he got robbed, right? When, when the incident was supposed to happen last year, he got robbed. He wasn't saying too much and uh, saying nothing at all. But the thing is... If he if he allegedly get didn't get robbed, then was that new jury that he came out with was it new? Was it new or was it the same chain? I, I don't know because it was a lot going on with that story. It was one dude saying he had it, and then but six nine looked real confident like he wasn't worrying about that. That always struck me about that like why he was never talking about that like how he escaped or anything. It was just weird to me. I didn't hear none of the story. Maybe y'all did. Drop it down in the comments if y'all did. But what y'all think about this defense that he's taking now? What y'all think about this defense that he's taking that he pretty much saying that it's fake? And, and honestly, he might be able to pull it off. I mean, when you think about all the 6 9 antics, he did a lot of things that were staged. He might pull it off. You never know. You never know. But tell me what you think about it. It's your boy Frankie Hardwork with another story. Y'all be good.